Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, January 6, 2016. Commissioner Renaud? Present. Commissioner Howard? Present. Chair Waymeyer? Present. Vice Chair Harris? Present. Commissioner Dunn? Present. If you check your cell phones and put them on silent if they're not, as I need to, please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remain standing for the invocation. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gracious Heavenly Father, God, we come to you with a heart of thanksgiving today. We thank you for this new day you've given us, Lord. And Lord God, uh, you bless us in so many ways. And Lord, I pray your blessings upon this meeting. And Lord God, uh, may you guide and direct this meeting, Lord. Correspondence or organizational business. Uh, Commissioner Waymeyer, first thing is that uh, um, we have a new employee in the appraiser's office, and uh, Jamie Wilson from the appraiser's office has brought her in to introduce you. We're happy to have Sally Crane with us. She came on about uh, two weeks ago. She's uh, been an appraiser in the past, and uh, she also worked for KDOT working on their uh, eminent domain and appraisal for that. So uh, we've been uh, rapidly getting her up to speed and we found her a place to sit and uh, <laughs> just wanted to bring her out and introduce you to all. Well, great. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for the introduction. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> I have a couple more things. Okay. <laughs> um, also, uh, I just want to let you know that the reorganization meeting um, is next Monday, the 11th, and that will be before we have our study session. Uh, second thing is the conservation district. I don't know if you got this in your mailboxes, but the conservation district will be having their annual awards uh, uh, dinner on Thursday, January 21st. Just let uh, myself or Joy know if any of you plan to go to that. All right. <coughs> Where's that at, John? What's that? Where's that at? Uh, bank or Celebration Hall. At the fairgrounds. All right. Consent agenda would include um, payroll in the amount of one million forty-seven thousand nine hundred thirty-three dollars eighty-eight cents. Claim vouchers. Uh, the amount of $360,328.46, tax change orders, uh, negative $1,072.72, uh, minutes for December 21st meeting, and um, payroll is for the period of uh, November 21 to December 20th. Is there a motion to approve consent agenda? So moved. Second. Commissioner Renaud? Yes. Commissioner Howard? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. Chair Weimar? Yes. First item of business is to uh, consider approving a rezoning application. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. I don't know how I got to be the first item of the new year, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a rezoning request to rezone a 40 acres. 10.8 acres of that will be rezoned to from an A1 agricultural zoning district to the RE residential estate. It has an existing residence. That residence is served with public water and with uh, a sanitation. The remainder of the uh, property, since it no longer will satisfy the 40 acre minimum lot size for the A1 zone, will be rezoned to A2 transitional agriculture. If you uh, looked at the survey, which was attached as part of your staff report, mm -hmm. you'll see that the uh, boundaries of that, and examining the um, aerial photo, they have designed that in such a way that we're not going to have issues with fencing and so on when they crosses the creek. These are issues that uh, the Planning Commission has gotten involved with 
recently and are pleased to uh, see that this uh, <coughs> uh, particular land division is taking in consideration of locating those property lines so that the, uh, the land division is not going to be an issue when you try to fence uh, cattle in or out by uh, having to cross creeks. So this is another issue that comes up from time to time that I know that the county commissioners have been involved with uh, some of your fence viewing issues. The Planning Commission did uh, recommend approval of this. Uh, I don't think I have anything to add. It does satisfy all the requirements of the county zoning regulations, subdivision regulations, and our comprehensive plan, and therefore we would recommend you accept the uh, Planning Commission's recommendation and approve the rezoning. Questions for Larry? Someone would like to make a motion to approve it? I'll make the motion. Second. Commissioner Howard? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Yes. Commissioner Renaud? Yes. Chair Weimar? Yes. All right, that brings us to staff reports. Commissioners, uh, I uh, sent you a memo um, on a uh, uh, response to a concern that was raised by a uh, county citizen about a bridge uh, and, uh, I gathered all the information and sent that to you um, and I was just waiting to hear back from you if any of you had any concerns or any questions ab about that uh, about the explanation that was provided I actually talked with that subject last night on the phone for about 30 minutes and we visited about that and uh, I told him that you had email that you told me you were going to forward to him and it would it kind of explain the situation on it okay. um, if there's no uh, questions or concerns from the Commission I'll send that to uh, to mr. Gerhardt this afternoon and if, from reading all the information this is a process or project that's been going on for some time and uh, the the bulk of the money is coming from either KDOT or from the federal, I forget the breakdown exactly, but the bulk of it, what, 72% or something like that, what, from, from the federal, and then the rest of it from KDOT, and did, I don't recall seeing any expenditures on the county's behalf at all then. That is correct. Uh, that's uh, the, the money that comes <coughs> for this is uh, part of the uh, off-system bridge <coughs> replacement program through the state. And so 90% or up to $120,000 is paid towards that. Uh, the remaining, I think, is about 171000 and that will be coming from our uh, uh, the state share uh, federal uh, tax dollars that come back to the state. And, and even though no money's from coming from the county, it's still money being spent by the federal or by state. And I guess the point in question was whether, and the the uh, citizen didn't know at that time the amount of money, but uh, they were uh, had a concern about whether that bridge really needed to have that level of reconstruction. So even though we, as a, a local government, aren't spending money, it is money that's going to be spent. So uh, I, he just had that concern on whether it needed to have that amount of, of uh, finances uh, put into it. But well, I also, hit, he does have the attitude, and he is partly correct that the money can come from wherever you call it. We're still paying we're for still it. We're still paying for it. Which is absolutely that's correct. But, you know, and of course, in case, so, since we're still talking, it started whether uh, he questioned whether they needed a bridge and if a culvert would do, which would, you know, be cheaper. And of course, for me, the biggest thing was the engineer said, yeah, it's draining almost 400 acres of watersheds. So really does need a bridge uh, and but uh, I guess it's good to know or I assume that we stay on top of that uh, just because the bridge was there you know could a box culvert do if it had a box culvert could use a regular culvert so but um, you know we did our due diligence and uh, all's well and it's uh, getting replaced with what needs so and that is all I had Derek have anything uh, sheriff <coughs> Morning. This week, um, I attended a couple city council meetings in Pomona. Uh, we, as you guys are aware, we currently have a contract with the city of Pomona to provide their um, law enforcement services. 
that contract expires um, this month on the 20th. Um, from looking over the, the current contract that we have with uh, the county councilor, there are some things in there that we probably needed to clean up. Um, the language that was used in that, there's been some changes to those statutes and things like that. So it's, uh, it's, it's been in place for a while. So Derek's working to clean that up. They did approve at that meeting um, for the uh, mayor to, to enter into that contract with the county. So it's been approved and once we get it all completed, we'll get with uh, Mayor Seneca and she'll, she'll be able to sign that and, uh, and get that back into place. It just has to be done before the 20th. Um, otherwise, we cannot lawfully enforce their city ordinances. So that, that's the purpose of, of that contract. What's the term for the contract? It's a one. It's a one year. One year. I thought it was a year to year. It, it's year to year, and they make four, uh, four payments, um, for that to satisfy that contract. H has the the cost of that changed over much over the years? It has. Um, this year's um, did not change. We had adjusted it last year, and that was taken this year into consideration as well. So this year's did not change. I believe it's just over. 60 or 61 thousand dollars something like that is where that where that is um, as you are aware we are we do have an opening um, for a uh, patrol deputy position uh, we have 51 applicants of those um, I believe um, 30 something of those are, are going to be um, invited to take the written test which is the first testing is this Saturday and then the second uh, part of the written test will be next Saturday so that we can accommodate everyone's schedules. So we're hoping to have that um, that position filled here in the near future. Last thing that I wanted to update you on is uh, the if you may or may not be aware of the uh, federal government's equitable sharing program. Um, that is a program that when we um, are involved in investigations that end up being a federal investigation and there is a uh, seizure of funds or property through this equitable sharing um, we get a portion of that and we are limited on what those funds can be what we had talked about um, during the budget cycle was a possibility of using we were expecting a 30 something about thirty thousand dollar payment um, from, from that program that we would be able to use that to, for a purchase of new uh, patrol rifles that program has is um, is going away it's been suspended um, by the administration that does not mean that the government's not seizing the funds or property it just means that they're not going to be giving us any of it anymore um, and we did not receive the thirty thousand dollars we likely will not um, just a personal opinion I don't trust I I don't ever want to put trust in the federal government, so I don't know if they're going to try to come in and sweep the funds that we have in that in our fund for that currently, or not. But it is we do know that that's a, a real possibility. Um, but just to let you guys know, that program is going away. Those funds will not be there, and we can't expect them. That this program will probably come back. Um, just for information, there is talk in the state legislature by a few, um, a couple different legislators of the possibility of presenting a similar type legislation that would do away with those with those type of programs at the state level. As you know, our drug enforcement unit is funded um, in large part by our our seizure funds that we have. So if that program goes away, then that's going to put a big could have a large impact on us at, at the county level as to how we proceed with our drug enforcement unit and how we get things funded um, I guess as a request I would just to make you guys aware that that is possibly out there I have not seen legislation yet right now it's just all talk and rumblings but if that comes forward we would probably be asking you guys to for some help at, from the, as a commission level to to tr advocate for to help that program stay intact what they want to do is they don't want to take away the, the seizures what they want to do is just that have the state keep that money instead of us being able to keep a portion of it so haven't we in the past also not just with drug enforcement <coughs> but I believe in the past we've actually gotten grants for like domestic violence uh, 
uh, as well. <coughs> yeah, but this is not a grant type program. It's not a grant. This it's, is not a grant, no. If we if we work part of a federal task force or if we work at part of a federal um, investigation and there, are, and there are seizures out of that, then we get a portion, we receive a portion of those funds. They're very specific what we can spend them on and what we cannot spend them on. Um, but at this point, those things are, are going are going to be going away. So. Where are you at on the jail right now? Are we, we full? We got anybody farmed out? Or? No, no. Um, we currently don't have any anyone farmed out, and by the end of this month, they should be starting the um, the project in there to get the to add those extra extra cell space and everything. We'll be doing some juggling around during that. And it's a possibility that we will have to farm a few out during that process while we have certain sections going, but we don't expect that that would be any anything really long term. Please uh, refresh my memory. What's the the length of that project? When do, when's the projected conclusion that we will be have the new? I, so do we? John, do you? I, I don't I, remember. I don't okay, recall. well, I didn't remember either, but yeah, it, I, I don't recall. I can't remember exactly how many days, how long it, they said it will take. It'll be sometime this year. It. Yes, but yeah. I know it was not a long. It was yeah. not a long period at, at all. So hopefully it'll only be a couple months, and we'll and we'll be complete with that. So, all right, thanks. Thank you. You have, you have anything? All right. Commissioner's comments, board reports. I do have a comment. I attended the Williamsburg City Commission <laughs> uh, Monday night, and we discussed a new mower again. At this point, they haven't uh, decided what they're going to do about the mower, and the mayor gave an update on the work they've done on some of their streets. Harris Construction worked on uh, all their streets a little bit. He gave an upgrade on that, and they had two resignations, one uh, from the library board and one from the uh, zoning board, <coughs> and they approved both those resignations. And then they entered into executive session to discuss personnel, and <coughs> that was it. Very short. Well, Monday night I was at the uh, Rantoul City Council meeting, and uh, similar things. It's either the mower, or the tractor, something of that. Uh, they did discuss vehicles in the road during their. They have their own snow plow now and their salt spreader, and they've worked with the county on getting that material. And uh, but now they're dealing with you know vehicles not being moved and so forth uh, they do have a meeting uh, on January the 18th with the Cutler Fire Department because and with the Cutler I think Township Board uh, they share some facilities there and they're gonna discuss some of that uh, how that operates uh, wastewater system and keeping a certified person on board with that is an issue for them uh, and then they're still trying to come up with some legal way of dealing with uh, people who have cemented shut or covered over their uh, sewer taps and still paying a fee on the sewer taps and trying to figure out how to handle those so those issues were on their city council Steve? i've not been to anything only thing i have uh, john is uh, thursday you uh, do you have kfo or do i the capital right. very good john and i went to fcdc yesterday morning um they looked at year-end numbers as far as where they came in at budget. Um, any other big items of business? Uh, I am on the, uh, uh, the search committee for the staff, and we start uh, uh, phone interviews, uh, Skype interviews this afternoon. So, how many candidates? Did, it's my understanding they didn't have a you didn't have a large pool to select from. It was eight applicants, and it got whittled down to five. Do we have something tomorrow night? I got a legislative thing at Leighton Center. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth Leighton Center. That's what time did you start? My, mine says it's at, uh, I got it early. It starts at 4.30. 4.30 is what mine says. Yeah, it's pretty early. 4.30 to 5.30 And right. it's over here, not at not at uh, Miami County like it has been. It's where? It's over, out on the, on the hill. Out on the hill. Yeah. yeah. All right. I see an executive session. On our agenda is 45 minutes still the purpose still the same as well mm -hmm. okay and to be administrator board and council yes all right 
So is our motion entered into executive session for a matter of attorney client privilege for 45 minutes with the board, the administrator, and the counselor present. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> All right, we're back out of executive session. No actions taken, no decisions were made. I do believe we need a few more moments to 30? 30. 30. 30 to uh, finish up conversation. And this would again be for attorney client privilege with the board, the counselor and the uh, administrator present and uh, is there a motion to that effect yes sir all in favor aye. 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 we're out of executive session no actions taken no decisions made uh, with that I'd look to motion to adjourn so moved is there a second second all in favor aye aye, aye. we are adjourned aye.